in this video, I'm going to show you my latest haul from Snappin' Up and a trick that I discovered. Stay tuned. Hello, my crafty friends, and welcome back to my channel. Just the other day, I got my Stampin' Up order. I ordered the Butterfly Brilliance and the die set that came with it as a bundle. These are the outline dies and the little little extra dies in the middle. And these are the fancier dies. And this came as one piece like this. We can take them apart and put these on them. Or what I discovered, I take this off. I turn this over and this matches exactly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything intact like this and I'm going to stamp with my homemade stamp positioner and make a bunch at once okay I decided to use uh, seaside spray this is my newer stepping up pad I'm going to use a whole piece of white 65 pound cardstock that in the center to lay it down and pick it up first let's take the paper off that would help huh okay okay now I'm going to use my seaside spray and I'm going to do all of them in one color. These are going to turn out so nice. Okay. Now, Alicia of Call Me Crafty Owl has this cool little tool that she uses to put pressure instead of her hands and that's probably a good idea because my, my hands and wrists would start to hurt after a while <gasps> aren't those pretty let's go ahead and do it again that's the beauty of the stamp positioner to get a really good crisp image Okay. Beautiful. Now, since this whole piece won't fit in here, I'm going to fit in my die cut machine. I'm going to cut it on either side. It fits about six inches but I can use these leftover pieces for sentiment dice okay. so there we go Take my outline dies. See, I don't even have to take them apart, like so. Now I'm going to use some washi tape 
I have plenty. All right, I'm going to use my die cut machine right now. I have the Tim Holtz, the Vagabond, the electric one. Okay. And here we are. This way I can make several at once and I will have extra for another time. How cool is that? I made my stamp positioner from an Ikea photo frame, side holding frame. And here's where I'm gonna be using the fancier dies. I went ahead and stamped again with my seaside spray and I put each piece on its correlating stamp. So let's try this. Okay, and we have to poke out the pieces, of course, because they are more intricate. An easier way to do this would probably be to use a dryer sheet to pull all the pieces out. or to run it back through several times. And there's one die for these two small, but they're the same size. Okay, so it's pretty also. I'm going to go ahead and use an unused dryer sheet and show you how that works. I'm going to lay it on this bottom plate and then I'm going to put the cardstock with my dies on top of that and so it covers all of them and I'm going to cover it with this plate and then I'm going to run it through my die cut machine. Well, it's not necessary. I always run it back through. So let's see how this works out. Here's my dryer sheet. Here are the pieces. As we peel, we peel it away. It is obviously stuck to it, which is what we wanted. There we are, probably 95 to 99 percent of the pieces stuck to the dryer sheet, <clears throat> so it makes it easier to pull it out. There we go. I love butterflies. I'm going to have a wonderful time with this set. Thank you so much for joining me, and have a wonderful day.